Hello, friends. Welcome to Learning with All God's Children. I hope there are people of all ages taking part in this today, and I'm glad that we are able to come and worship on this December 24th, the night before Jesus is born. I hope that in whatever way you are celebrating, you are with people you love. I know that school is done for those of you in school, and this is a time to just spend special time with people you care about, family, and and maybe some friends. I know this year it's a little bit different again because of COVID, but I hope that you are celebrating in some way. Well, do you remember last week I said that this week we would talk about the angels? Well, we've talked about the angels coming before they spoke with Mary and they spoke with Joseph. Who else do you remember that the angels went and spoke to, to say that Jesus was coming? Do you remember? Let me give you a hint. Yes, the shepherds, the angels came and told the shepherds that Jesus was going to be born in Bethlehem. Let's learn about that in the Spark Story Bible as I read to you the story of the angels coming to the shepherds. Outside of Bethlehem, shepherds watched their sheep on the hills. Suddenly, an angel appeared. The shepherds looked up at the bright night sky. Don't be afraid, the angel said. I bring wonderful news. The child God promised was born tonight. The shepherds listened in amazement. The twinkling stars seemed to echo each of the angel's words. The angel continued, Go to Bethlehem you will find the child lying in a bed of hay. Suddenly, many angels filled the heavens. They sang together, glory to God in the highest and peace to all people on earth. Let's hurry, one shepherd said. The angel said the child was born tonight. But what about the sheep? Another shepherd asked. Let the angels watch them, the youngest shepherd said. Yes, Let the angels watch them. The shepherds happily hurried into Bethlehem. Let's take a look. See the shepherds there looking out at the sky? What happens next? The angel was right. The shepherds found the baby Jesus asleep on a bed of, what is it? Hey, right. On a bed of hay, they told Mary and Joseph all that the angel had said. The angel said the baby is the Messiah, the promised one. He is the one we have waited for, the shepherds explained. But this is a stable. Would God be born here, among the animals, they asked. Moo, said the cow. Ba, said the sheep. Coo, said the dove. Mary smiled. She knew that Jesus was Emmanuel, God with us. Later, the shepherds returned to their sheep, praising God for all they had seen and heard. Jesus was born. Let's take a look at the picture. Can you see the animals and the shepherds there, and Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus right there in the stable? I wonder what it would have been like to have been in the stable that night. You know, I always thought that being born in a stable wouldn't have been a very nice thing. But I have a friend named Stu, and Stu is a dairy farmer, and he taught me that when he goes out into the barn, he has some of the most beautiful times in the quiet and in the darkness, and those are times when he connects with God. And those, so that's helped to remind me that Jesus being born in a stable maybe wasn't what any of us were expecting, but that God was present there in that stable and Jesus was born. And so we know that angels went to the shepherds and told them 
that Jesus was going to be born. Here's another thing I notice about the story, is that when the shepherds were ready to leave and go back to their fields, did they go back quietly, never saying a word? No. They went and told people about what they had seen. They told people that they had seen Jesus who had been born and that he was the Messiah. And it reminds me that we are all called to share the story of Jesus' birth. The angels came to the shepherds to tell them that Jesus was going to be born. Now that's a really important part of the story, and here's why. Because back in those days, shepherds weren't people who had a lot of money or who had a lot of power. Some people didn't think they were very important at all. But God sent the angels to the shepherds so people would know that Jesus came for all of God's people, not just for the religious people, not just for the wealthy people, not just for the powerful people. God sent Jesus for all people in the whole world. And so that's why it's so important that the shepherds also went to see the baby Jesus. Do you remember who else went to see the baby Jesus? Hmm. They came a little while later and they brought some gifts. Well, we'll talk about that next week. I brought my manger scene again this week. Remember last year we opened it together because it was brand new for me? Well, here's what I love about this particular manger scene. We have other ones in our house. We have, they're made of, one is made of glass and one is called Precious Moments and I love them. But you know what? I always want to be really careful because they could break. This one I love because it won't break. And why is that important? Well, sometimes I think that we think that Jesus should be kind of put on a shelf all careful and never really thought about too much. Just something that we keep them around just in case. But I think God sent Jesus to the earth so we would get to know him firsthand, so we would experience him and welcome him into our lives, kind of like a toy that is fun to play with. Could you imagine if you got a present for Christmas that had to just sit there and you could never touch it? That wouldn't be as much fun, would it? But when there's something you can play with or an instrument you can learn to play or technology you can use, then we learn a lot more about it, don't we? Well, I think that's true with Jesus, that we want to learn about him. We want to know about his life. We want to know about his teachings. And so this manger scene reminds me that we're supposed to get really involved with Jesus. He's not just a story that we put on a shelf or, or that we keep in our Bible. We want Jesus to be part of our lives. And so I think it's fun to play with the manger scene and to imagine what Mary and Joseph would have said after the shepherds left. Or imagine what they thought of with all of the cows and sheep looking down on them. The story of Jesus is a wonderful one for us to tell and retell and imagine what would have happened. And so I hope that you have a way during this Christmas of talking about Jesus and making it real, not just something that sits perfectly up on a shelf that you never ever talk about or never think about. Let's take a look this morning at what we're doing with our Advent wreath. For our Advent wreath, I wanted to see what it looked like from outside. This is it from a distance. But then if you look very carefully and get close up, there is my Advent wreath with our candles of hope, peace, joy, and love and there in the center is the Christ candle that we light on Christmas Eve. I don't know what you did for your Christ candle, but I hope you did something that makes you feel that you've done a great job and that it's beautiful and that it reminds you that Christ is in the world. 
Our candles have lit our way through Advent in our homes and hopefully for those outside in our neighborhoods. I pray that your Christ candles have helped you to remember Jesus' love and Jesus' birth. Uh, for me, Jesus is my guide. He's my protector. He lets me know when things need to be done and when I shouldn't be doing something. Jesus for me is the savior. He is a friend. He is a confidant. Someone that you can tell your, tell things to that um, maybe you couldn't tell someone else. And you may not get an answer, but you know, I think if you listen, listen hard enough, an answer will come. Jesus for me is a friend, a companion, and someone who comforts me and provides hope. Um, he's been my passenger, I, I consider him my passenger that has been with me, um, just kind of guiding me, uh, whether I'm going the right way, going the wrong way. To me, Jesus is a teacher, a guide, and a leader who sacrificed his life for us. Jesus is our role model and a sign of hope. Why do we need Jesus in the world today? Because the world is a mess. I think with everything changing, the way our world is working, it's changing day by day, rules, recommendations are changing, and it's hard to see where Jesus is in our world. But if we look around, he is there every single day. He's guiding us, he's teaching us different ways of doing things. Jesus is important because we need hope and love during these stressful and challenging times in our world. I think Jesus is important in the world right now because it feels dark for a lot of people. People I think are losing hope, they're scared, they're unsure of what the right path is. And he provides a constant comfort, a constant hope. No matter what is happening in the world or how unsecure it feels, he is always there as a constant. Jesus is important in the world right now because he represents hope, peace, love, and of course right now the way things are, we could use all the hope we can get. Jesus is important in the world right now because he helps us focus on hope, peace, joy, and love during difficult times in our lives and reminds us of the true meaning of Christmas. of the Bible, Jesus and the Shepherds. This is Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. His parents on earth were Mary and Joseph. Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. On the night Jesus was born, there were some shepherds in the field keeping watch over their sheep. <sighs> Suddenly, an angel appeared before them, uh -oh. and a bright light shone all around them. Ah! The shepherds were so scared, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. Uh, okay. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Whoa, what? The angel told the shepherds that they would find Jesus in a barn wrapped in strips of cloth, laying in a manger. Okay. Then the angel was joined by many, many other angels, and all of them sang, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Then the angels returned to heaven. Uh, what just happened? And the shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem. Yeah. So they hurried to the village. You say that. And found the baby Jesus laying in the manger. Wow. 
After seeing Jesus, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had told them about the baby Jesus. Everyone who heard the shepherd's story were amazed. Mary made sure she remembered all these things and thought about them often. Then the shepherds went back to their sheep and praised God for all they had seen. The baby was exactly who the angel had told them he was, the Savior of the world, the Son of God. Will you join with me in prayer? And you can repeat after me, or you can pray in your own heart. Let's pray. God, we thank you for baby Jesus born in a stable. We thank you for angels and shepherds and all of the people today who tell us Jesus is born. We thank you that Jesus helps to bring hope and peace and joy and love. We thank you that Jesus taught us that we could bring hope and peace and joy and love. Be with us for our Christmas celebration. When we open our gifts, help us to remember the gift of Jesus. We pray for people tonight who might be alone or those who are sick and those who are cold. Help us to reach out and care for all your people. Be with us at this Christmas time and help us to feel your love. Amen. Friends, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas celebration. I hope that there is great joy in your home or wherever it is you are. And I hope that in some way during Christmas, you can reach out to someone. Maybe call somebody who you can't see. Maybe send a note to a friend or an email. Maybe do something kind for a parent or a brother or sister. Jesus came to teach us about loving one another and teach us that we are all part of God's family. And this Christmas, I wonder if that there's something that you can do to love God's family. Have a wonderful Christmas, friends. I look forward to seeing you. Merry Christmas.